Hi YouTube, it's Sarah says hi. Um, in the beginning of May I had to reformat my computer and when I did I lost all of my YouTube videos, my intros, and all that good stuff. So um, here's a video without intro, it probably doesn't need an intro anyway. So, Let's see. so I wanted to update what I've been doing since March, which is my last video update. And um, I began a 12-week program. It was designed by Lee Labrada. He's a famous bodybuilder. And it was a 12-week lean body challenge. And it's good for anyone at any fitness level, um, whether you're beginning weight training or advanced. Um, you know, it doesn't matter. He shows you the right moves that you have to do, uh, the right workout program for each day. It was a four-week days of training and then um, you had some cardio that you did in between and there were some days where you did both weight training and then cardio at the end. <clears throat> Anyways, it was it was a pretty good program. I lost about eight pounds in 12 weeks, but part of those eight pounds was I had put on four pounds in the first two weeks of the program and I wasn't really quite sure what was going on because I was you know, following the guidelines as far as eating and my calorie count and somehow I managed to gain four pounds and I wasn't sure if maybe I'd put on some lean body mass in the beginning. Um, but I definitely did look leaner at the end. Um, did I get the body I wanted? Of course not. But, um, you know, that, that could take years. But I, I did some pretty good um, progress that I was proud of. And then um, the hardest thing I did have with that program was the eating. I constantly felt like I was hungry because um, they still have most diet programs, uh, exercise programs, have you eating like five to six small meals a day, which are each like two to three hundred calories. And I cannot stand those kind of eating programs. They just don't work for me because I'm hungry. I want to eat more than just three hundred calories. Um, so I think I finished that program like the end of June or beginning of June, something like that. And I started a new program that was called the New Rules of Lifting for Women. And so it's this book right here, New Rules of Lifting for Women. And I'm a member of the Bodybuilding Forum and um, Bodybuilding.com. And there's just like so much information about women that were trying this program and they just loved it and got good results. They could see changes within weeks of their body. So I decided I was just going to go ahead and do it. And of course the nutrition outlined in the book also says to eat um, five to six small meals a day and not a fan of that. So I was trying to research, um, you know, good eating plans, whatever, also on the bodybuilding forum. And um, Several people had talked about something called intermittent fasting, and um, I'll briefly explain what it is, but if you really want to know further details about it, you could look it up on a website called leangains.com, and it was designed by a personal trainer named Martin. He lives in Sweden. He's a young guy, too. I think he's in his 20s. Um, but anyways, he tested this way of eating on, you know, several of his clients and saw the results they got, so he just uh, decided to let the bodybuilding world kind of just know about it and um, I love it. There's examples on the website about other eating windows and fasting plans, um, but basically the guideline is 16 hours of fasting with 8 hours of an eating window. And you do work out fasted, um, if you can help it at all. I prefer to work out fasted. Uh, the only thing is that Martin recommends that you take in some BCAAs, and um, you can get that in some uh, protein powders. You'll find that there's BCAAs um, present, like I believe there's Optimum Nutrition, some of their shakes um, carry or have BCAAs in it. Um, for me, the best thing is to take a supplement called Extend, and it's something that you drink, and it's so good. I love the flavors. I've tried about four different flavors now and love them. So I mix Extend in my little shaker, 
and I take it to the gym with me and I drink about 10 grams before my workout and then um, I sip on the rest during my workout and then I finish it at the end of the workout or after. So I'm having 30 grams of those BCAAs and um, I'll also put a little information about that too for Extend below if you're interested in that product. But anyways, um, <clears throat> so this program, the New Rules of Lifting, has me doing a full body workout three days a week. Um, it really has got me out of my comfort zone because, for one, I was scared to death of that squat rack. I was so intimidated by it. Every time I saw the guys, like, you know, they're doing like 350 pounds, whatever, squatting. And if you don't know what that is, it's a rack where um, they're taking like the big Olympian bars and the big old plates, putting it on their, on their um, traps, and, you know, they're squatting this heavy weight. And sometimes you'll see them with like the big old um, belts and stuff that they're wearing when they do this. <clears throat> and I was really intimidated by the squat rack. Just I felt like oh, it was a man thing, and you know I don't want to do that. But uh, once I just got out of my comfort zone, I said, okay, Sarah, you need to do it. It's part of this program. It's part of this workout today. You need to do it. I just went over there and I did it. You know, I watched a couple of YouTube videos on good form. Actually, there's a really good video here that um, is called So You Think You Can Squat. And I recommend if you're going to start squatting, watch that video. It's amazing. So I just watched the video, got proper form, and I squatted and um, fell in love with it. It was just amazing. So I've been doing squats ever since. I haven't had any back pain. I feel great. Um, so this program has me doing weights, well, the full body workout three days a week, and then I do cardio on my rest days, and my cardio is easy cardio. It's um, over a long period of time, about 45 minutes to an hour, and it's like moderate pace, like you're not running hard or anything. There is some interval training that you do on, I think, one to two days a week, depending on how your workout is. On my rest days, I'm just doing like moderate biking on the spinning bike or the boring treadmill. I hate walking in the boring treadmill, but sometimes I'll do that. And um, it seems to be helping at the start of this new program. Um, like I said, this is my third phase, so I'm probably like on week nine or something like that of this. Um, the first four weeks you ate at maintenance and somehow um, at the end of the four weeks, like the first three weeks, I was fine. I wasn't gaining anything. But my fourth week, all of a sudden, bam, scale said I was five pounds heavier. And I was like, oh my gosh, what the heck? So then um, I toyed around with my calories the next two weeks trying to figure out, okay, how much do I need to drop it to start seeing results? So I tested it out for two weeks where I dropped it by 200 calories. Wasn't quite achieving any good results. It's kind of going back and forth between one pound loss or one pound gain. So, um... I finally found a good spot for my calories and that I've been eating this way for two weeks now and I've dropped six pounds. So everything is flowing again, it's good. Um, I love the intermittent fasting because I get to have large meals. So typically I come home from the gym about two o'clock and my first meal is anywhere from 800 to 1200 calories. Um, there are some rules like... So, um, you know, I had to figure out how many macronutrients, macronutrients is counting of the carbs, um, the proteins, and fats. Those are macronutrients. So um, I had to find out how many grams of protein I needed to have a day and how many grams of carbs I need a day and all that. Um, primarily, I look at my protein. I try to keep that up above 120 grams if possible a day for me. Um, on average, it's anywhere from 120 to 150 grams of protein. And then my carbs, um, 
on some days where I can have a lot of carbs, it gets all the way up to like 250, 280 grams of carbs. Um, on my lower carb days, sometimes it'll be anywhere from 150 grams and under. Um, I don't really pay attention all that much to fat, but you know, I do have some fat in my diet still. Because um, it's not good to have a completely low fat diet. Your body still needs fat. So, um, I'm happy eating these great big meals. You know, I have the 800 to 1200 calories for my first meal of the day. I can choose later on to have a snack if I wanted to and then have dinner. Typically I have um, my first meal at 2, like about 2.30. When I finish eating it's about 2.30. Um, so I'll have my next meal at about 6, 6.30 and that will also be whatever's left of my calories for the day. So if I have, you know, 700 calories left or if I have 1,200 calories left, I'll eat all of that in that last meal. Um, I have ice cream just about every single night and I'm still losing weight. And um, the best thing about this diet is it seems to be targeting my belly fat and that's what I'm really thrilled to see happening because that's where I carry the bulk of my body fat. Um, I am seeing just in two weeks, I'm seeing, I have a layer of fat that like kind of hangs off my ribs and I'm seeing that that's flattening and going away a little bit. So I'm really excited about that. Um, basically this way of eating kind of re, it's called recomposition. It's when you replace body fat with lean body muscle, <laughs> lean mass. So, um, it actually, you could weigh the same, but you look slimmer. So I think that's kind of what's happening to my body because the scale is changing finally. But um, I think maybe I look slimmer than I, than the weight would say. I've had people tell me in person, um, like there was a man I went, um, we were just friends. We were going out as friends and I was meeting him for the first time because um, I wasn't ready for a relationship or anything, but that's a different story. Anyways. Um, and he had seen full body pictures of me or whatever, but when he saw me, he told me, he's like, I would never have guessed that you weighed 190 pounds. He's like, you look like 150 pounds, like there's no way. And so that was really flattering to me that something's working. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you my body really quick in the mirror. And um, I think that'll be my update.